Hello and welcome to Divi Coaching. Today I'm really excited to be having my first look at Divi 5. So this is the fifth generation of the Divi theme and builder. I'm recording this video in October 2024. So at the end of September, Divi 5 was released as a public alpha. So obviously it comes with a health warning. It is not yet ready for use in production. If you, are, uh, if you already have a Divi license, you have access to the Divi 5 public alpha and I'll be putting a link in the description below. If you don't yet have Divi, it's a great time to invest in Divi. And again, there's a link in the description below that will let you buy a Divi license. So without further ado, let's jump in and have a quick look at how to get up and running with the Divi 5 public alpha. So I'm starting with a new installation of WordPress at this new site I've called uh, Divi5.com. I'm going to log into the dashboard and once I've logged in, I'm going to head down to Appearance and themes. Now you can see that we have the uh, standard 2024 theme active and I need to upload and activate Divi 5. Now there is a link on the Elegant Themes website. I'll put a copy of the link down below and that will link you to the public alpha. So I'm recording this in, well, towards the end of October 2024. The public alpha has been available for getting on for a month now. It's been through a couple of different iterations and I thought today would be a good day to start having a proper look at it. So if you scroll down, you'll find a link eventually that says download the Divi 5 Alpha. And if you click on that link and log in with your um, Elegant Themes login credentials, because this is uh, within the members area, so uh, there's a little bit of a disclaimer here, which you can read through. There's some tutorials here on the right hand side. And I'm going to click on this link, download. I don't want this kit. And I'm going to click on this link, download the Divi 5 Alpha. And it doesn't take long to download. And once the download's complete, I can go back to my website. I can go add new theme, upload theme, choose file. And from my downloads folder, I can choose Divi 5 and click on open. Once uh, I've checked this is the right file here, I will click on install now and this will install Divi 5. OK, I get the success message installing the theme, theme installed successfully, and I'm going to click on activate. Exciting to see um, what we're actually going to get to. So Divi has been installed and activated. Next, you must activate your license so your website can receive updates. And I like this because rather than having to, to go around and get into the Divi menu and find the right place to paste your license, it just runs through this license process with you at the beginning. And it will also generate a new license key. And a lot of people um, think that they have a single license key and they use this on all the websites that they create. Uh, if you have a Divi lifetime license, it's really good practice to create a different license key for each site that you build. And by clicking on this now, you'll be asked to log in with your Elegant Themes credentials and it will then generate a new API key for this site. I really like this great welcome screen and it has some basic information. Obviously, I'm starting with a new site. I'm not trying to migrate a previous Divi site. So therefore, on the right hand side here, it says I have uh, zero pages made with Divi, zero posts made with Divi and zero theme templates. So um, very clear as to exactly where I am at the moment. Um, it tells me that my Divi license is active and it tells me that Divi is up to date. So that's brilliant. First thing on the left hand side here is we've got um, some documentation using the Divi Builder. Unfortunately, the tutorials that you'll end up with here are actually for the current uh, version 4 of Divi, but I'm sure in due course these will be updated to Divi 5. Uh, the next thing here, we've got um, managing website styles. Uh, so there's some information about using presets, global presets, the Divi color management system. Um, again, this information is uh, based on the previous version of Divi and all of this will need to be and I'm sure will be updated in due course. Coming back to our site here, the next uh, setting is chat with an expert and this gives us the option to talk to um, uh, tech support uh, in and uh, chat to the team. Um, I've always found for the few questions that I've had for tech support that they've come back to me uh, really quickly uh, and with really good information. So if you need some tech support, that's an option here. 
Now this I'm really excited about, this next tab, Divi Quick Sites. Now I don't know, those of you that have uh, built sites before using one of the Divi templates, yet you find that you have to load each page individually and it ends up just being a little bit of a pain. Here you can create a site much more quickly without having to visit each page at a time. So let's uh, give it a try. Uh, you'll see if I click over here, I've just got the sample WordPress pages. I'm actually going to delete those. So there's a, a privacy policy and a sample page. So we'll get rid of those. And I'm going to back to uh, the Divi dashboard and I'm going to click on generate a new site. And I'm given two options here. Uh, one is use pre-made starter site. Pick a handcrafted starter site created by our team, then jump into your finished website and customize the content. The second option, simply describe your website, sit back, relax, and let Divi AI create your entire website for you in less than two minutes. Well, I'm not going to do that in this first look at Divi 5. Uh, that might well be the subject of a future video. So for now, I'm going to click on this select a website template. OK, I'm going to go with this writer template here. And if we preview Writer, we can see what the website is going to look like. And when we're happy that that's the one we want, we can simply click on Start with Writer. And we can give it a name. So let's call it My Writing um, Site Slogan All of My Latest Stories. I'm not going to upload a logo. What pages do I want? So very simple site, about, contact, home, blog and events. Those are the pages I want. And once we're completely happy with that, we can simply click on generate and publish my website. And it runs through all the stages, imports all of the pages and creates the site for me. And as I say, I really love this because it was a little bit of a faff having to go through, look for a template, find the pages and load them all individually. Although of course you can still do that if you want. So we'll let this continue and we'll have a quick look once it's finished. The whole process takes maybe two minutes and at the end of it we end up with a website with five pages. Okay, website build complete and you can see that I'm given a menu here, my website pages, about, events, home, contact. You can manage the pages, so if we go into manage website pages uh, you're basically taken straight to the pages, the pages page of WordPress. Um, I'm going to come back to the dashboard again. Uh, we've got some theme templates here. So if we go into the uh, theme builder, we'll see that it has actually created a theme builder template for all of these pages. So really, really good stuff and it's doing lots of work for us. Um, once we've saved this, I can go to the site and you can see we have a website. Something's gone a little bit wrong at the top here. And as I said when I started, I'm showing you this as a public alpha. This is not perfect, finished, released software. This is an alpha to give a feel as to what Divi 5 looks like. So we're going to expect the odd mistake like this. Uh, and in the final version, I'm sure they will be addressed. So if we have a look at another page, so I'm going to go back to the dashboard, into Pages. So let's look at the events page and I'm going to click on edit with Divi and this will show you how fast the new builder loads and how it works. So I'm going to click edit with Divi and very quickly, bang, we're straight into the page. So this is the new layout. Lots is familiar, but lots of it is in a different place to where you're used to seeing it in Divi 4. So let's have a little look around. So this menu on the left hand side essentially replaces what was the, the purple menu at the foot of the page. So if you come in here, you can see we've got a layers menu. Um, we've got the wireframe view. We've got the option to have things happen on hover. So if we get rid of wireframe a minute, uh, we can choose uh, action items on hover. So you can see that as we hover over a module, that module appears to allow us to edit it. X-ray view. And that lets us see all of the different modules on the page in an X-ray view. And we can then find the module we want to edit. So say we want to edit this one. When we then click on it, we'll end up going straight into the edit pane for that module. So all the same views that we had before in Divi 4, but presented in a slightly different and I think much cleaner way. So I'm going to go back to action items on hover and I'm going to close the layers palette. So again, you click on something and opens it, click again and it closes it. In terms of actually editing, the great thing 
about this new V5 is that you have all of the settings here on the right hand side and all you need to do, say you want to uh, edit this block of text, as soon as you click in it, you will be in the settings for it on the right hand side straight away. So we've got the heading here and we've got all of our settings for that heading. So if we go into text, if we go into design, into the heading text, we can see here we've gone with the default font, uh, default uh, a regular weight and all of the sizes and everything are here and we can just adjust them. So really easy and if we then want to edit say the uh, body copy, again we click on the body copy and we're into the right place, we can make changes, uh, you know, make sure, so say we want to change this copy to make sure you don't miss, there we are, we've made an immediate edit to the copy. So I really like this. If you don't want it attached to the right hand side, you can simply drag it and you're back to having the mobile palette that you had in Divi 4, uh, albeit uh, more compact and I think easier to work with little palette. Everything in Divi 5 I'm finding to be much more responsive. It's just much snappier. So I love that. I haven't yet managed to work out how to reattach this to the right sidebar. What should happen is if I come into the builder settings here, it says settings modal default position. Um, I should be able to select it from here, say last used position or floating minimum size, or uh, if I want it fixed to the right sidebar, I should be able to say it fixed to the right sidebar. But I haven't managed to make that actually reapply itself. What I have found is if I click on here, which is for the page settings, it does automatically reattach itself to the right. So that's a bit of a workaround for now. Let's have a quick look at the top. So the other things we have at the top here uh, we have our phone, tablet and desktop view. If we then come across a bit further, we end up with a dark and a light view. So we can make all of the uh, settings dialog boxes uh, dark by clicking on here. Uh, just really a preference. I personally rather have it light, so I'm going to leave it on light. If we come back up to the top here and we'll have a look at the other settings, we've got an undo and a redo. We've got the history that we're probably used to from before. We've got the import export function and we've got the uh, clear layout. And we've also got the add to library. So these are all the things that you're used to seeing in Divi 4, but just presented in a slightly, I think, cleaner way. And I really love this new settings dialog on the right hand side. If we um, come up to the other tabs, these are all going to be very familiar to you as well. So if we come into this uh, heading text again, we can come into the design tab for it and we have all of the usual things. So sizing, spacing, so we can come into the spacing here. We can change the padding if we want. So let's go with 1.2M and I'm going to link that across. So I've um, top and bottom now added a bit of padding to that particular box. Um, I can simply undo that again to go back to how we were. So again, all of the things that you're used to seeing, you're going to see in Divi 5. This is, this is as they always put it, this is an evolutionary rather than a revolutionary change. Uh, the majority of the change is under the hood, making this version of Divi much more responsive and much easier to work with. Uh, once this is stabilized and has been released, then they'll start working on adding in increased functionality. Let's just run through what it looks like starting with a new page. So I'm going to save and I'm going to come out of the builder. So I'm going to exit here. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to create a new page. We're going to call it test page. And I'm going to say use Divi Builder. And very familiar, you're going to come into the Divi Builder. Again, you'll see how fast we came into that builder and you're presented with the view that you're used to seeing with a single section. And within that section, we have the opportunity to add a row. So we'll click on add new row. Again, you have a choice of how many columns you want in that row. So we'll go with two columns. Um, into the columns, we'll start with a heading. So we'll pop a heading into that module. Uh, then we'll add another module underneath. Uh, you can see just how quick and snappy all of this is. We'll add a text field. Here is our text. And on the right hand side, we'll add an image. We'll come over here to our settings. We'll choose the image. So let's go with this image and we'll click on upload. And here we are. 
So very quickly, we've put together a, a section with a two column row and a few modules. So it, it's, uh, I just really like working with W5. I'm really excited uh, that it's finally here and I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens over the coming months. One of the greatest things for me is that it gives me an opportunity to remake all of my tutorials as well as a new range that will be specifically tailored towards Divi 5. So there'll be a bit of a lag because I need to wait now to see the final version of Divi 5 being launched. As soon as it comes out, I'm going to be starting making videos again. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please do subscribe and give me a like and I'll see you next time.